everybody. Welcome to another edition of How to Pass the Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. Um, today we will be working on this standard. It's maths.4.nbt.2.4. And in other words, that's going to be lesson 10 for us today. Lesson 10, fluently adding and subtracting. And let's pay attention to that word fluently. At this point in fourth grade, you should be pretty snappy with your adding and subtracting. Um, if you're still counting on fing fingers and stuff, that's okay. But we that means that you need to be practicing in order to get a little bit better. So let me teach ya. We're on example one. An addition problem is shown. Calculate the sum. The word calculate, you're not going to use a calculator for this. You can't in fourth grade. Plus, you can do it in your head. Um, but this word calculate means that you need to take the numbers and perform this operation as if you were the calculator. And then the word sum means to find the answer to a, to a multiplication, ugh, to an addition problem. Where is my head this morning? Okay, so this is an equation editor item. Let's go ahead and solve it. All right, so nine, we're going to start over here in the ones place. And I love how they made this problem how I made this problem um, line up nice and neat. But I think I have some other ones for you where we have to line them up ourselves. So thank you for lining them up for us this time. So nine plus four is 13. 13 plus three is 16. Whoo, it's high up here with our one. Nice landing dude, six in the ones place. Now some people, before I get going crazy with this, some people like to break these apart into the different place values so you can kind of see what's going on. Just be careful to make sure you're keeping everything in the right column, in the right place. Alright, so 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 6, that's an easy 10. And 10 plus 8 is 18. Whoa, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. I'm going to do 1 and 9 because that's an easy 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19. Whoa, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. I'm going to do 7 plus 3 because that's an easy 10. That's 10. And then plus 1 would be 11. Plus 2 would be 13. Whoa, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 5 is 9. I'm sorry, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. And I can bring that down because I don't have any other numbers. Ooh, and that is not where my comma goes. It goes right there. 1s, 10s, 100s, comma, 1000s, 10,000s, 100,000s. Our work does not go in the box, but our answer sure does. Example number 2. What is the difference of 42 1,312 and 1,765. Now, I've seen students in the past write, well, the difference is that the 42,317 is greater than 1,765. And I'm talking like this because this is how we talk in Florida. Well, some of us do. Some people don't. Um, that's not what this question is calling for. This word difference, you need to make sure that you know that in mathematics, the word difference means that we need to use a specific operation, and that operation is subtraction. Subtraction. So we need to take the numbers and we need to find the difference through subtraction. When we do, our answer is going to go in this big old box. We're not going to show our work in this big old box, but our answers are going to go there. So 42,312 is the greater number, so I'm going to put this one on top. Okay, and then I'm going to line up 1,765. The one is in the thousands place, so that's going to go right here with this two, comma, 765, and we are subtracting. Okay. This time I'm not going to break apart the place value. 
You sure can if you want to, if you want to put the lines down in the columns, um, but I'm not going to. But I am going to change my color to green so you can see my regrouping that's going to go on. All right. Two minus five. This is not lined up the best that I want it to. That looks good. Okay, make sure you line it up nice and neat. That's how a lot of kids make mistakes. Two minus five. You can't do that. If you have two things, you can't take five away from them. So we need to, everybody say, regroup. Good job. All right, regroup. So we're gonna borrow from the tens place. The 10, this guy says, hey, can I have a 10? This 10 says, sure you can. So now this becomes a 12, because two plus the 10 is 12. 12 minus five is seven. Okay, moving on to the next column. Zero minus six. If you have zero things, you can't take away six. So we need to regroup. So he asks, hey, hey, can I borrow one of yours? And he says, oh, sure you can, but I only have two now. And he says, thanks. Zero plus 10 is 10. 10 minus six, four. Two minus seven, oh, I created a lot of regrouping for you on this one. Two minus seven, you can't do that. So we're not gonna borrow next door. Yeah, you can have one of mine. Thanks. 12 minus seven is five. One minus one, whoo, we can do that, that's zero. And four minus nothing is four. So our answer is 40,547. That is what I put into here. We're on example three. An addition statement is shown. 25,133 plus 17,088 plus 11,247 equals 54,168. What is the missing digit that makes the addition statement true? So we have to find the number that goes in here. Is it six, seven, eight, or nine? This is a multiple choice item. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna add it up myself and just see what goes in there. I'm gonna try to fill in the space with what makes sense. So we have three plus eight is 11. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do three and seven first because that's an easy 10. Three and seven is 10 plus eight is 18. So that would make the one go here and we already have the eight down here. One plus, let's see, do I have any easy tens? Nope. One plus three is four. Four plus eight is 12. And 12 plus four is 16, so I'm gonna put my one here. Now, we need something that says one plus one plus blue plus two equals one, and I bet it's gonna be 11 because we already have greater than one, so the product cannot be one. That would be zero plus zero plus zero plus one. That doesn't make sense, so we have to, I just said the product, the sum would be 11. So we need to find something where when we add up these digits, the sum will be 11. So one plus one is two, two plus two is four, four plus what is 11? Let's plug in the seven. 4 plus 7 is 11. That would bring this up here. Let's continue through to see if this is the correct number that belongs in there. All right, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 plus 1 is 14. We're on the right track. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. That is the right answer, so 7 belongs in the box. Now, I wanna just let you all know this, that um, you might wanna work on problems, the same problems that I'm working on right here. In the description box below, there's a link that will take you to a resource. Um, it's the entire fourth grade, um, how to pass the math FSA, but there's these same problems within that document. So, um, and I also give you more problems on this standard that you don't see in the video, so that way you get the extra practice, because practice, makes improvement, so check it out. Let's move on to example three. I mean example four. I'm just having so much fun today that we're almost finished with this standard. This is my last problem for you for the standard today. <sighs> kind of sad about that, but let's move on. 
Drag the missing digits to complete the subtraction statement. 143,876 minus 129,589. So this, when it says drag, I'm referring to what you would be doing on the computer because next year you guys are taking this on the computer. Well, not you guys, you would be in fifth grade, but fourth graders will take this on the computer next year. Um, so this is something similar to what it would look like on the computer, but you may still see it in this format. So, um, or maybe you just have to plug in the answer. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm missing digits down here. They've given me a couple for my difference. Um, I'm just gonna work this out to see what goes into the boxes. So six minus nine. I can't do that, I need to regroup. Oh, let me change my colors. Change my colors. Do, 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 do. Okay, this becomes a six, which means this guy gets a 10, so that's 16. 16 minus nine is seven. Six minus eight, no, can't do it. Borrow from next door or regroup. Now this guy becomes 16 also. It's a 16 club over here today. 16 minus eight is eight. So that would drag right into that box. Seven minus five is two. All is good so far. Three minus nine, we can't do that. So we need to regroup from the guy to their left. That becomes a three. He becomes a 13. 13 minus nine would be four. Three minus one would be one. One minus one would be zero. We got it. Uh, uh, we got it. So this four would drag right into that box. And ooh, we are done. Okay, YouTubers. Motivational message time. This one comes from my boy, E.T. Um, his name's Eric Thomas, he goes by E.T. Told you I'm gonna be quoting him a lot because he, I mean, I listen to his motivational messages every morning. He inspires me, so I'm just throwing it back to you. Um, one thing that he says every time is, make the best, make the rest of your life the best of your life. It's as simple as that. Choose to be positive. Choose that from this day forward, your life is going to get better. You're going to be grateful for what you have and you're going to make sure that you make the rest of your life the best of your life. Let everything else go. All that drama, just let it go and make the decision now to move forward. Be positive. Work hard. Be grateful. Be content with what you have. But move forward. Push yourself and reach those dreams. Bye guys.